This is the AC Infinity T8. It's a rear exhausted cooling system. Um, it's got three fans located in the unit and it brings up heat from my amplifier and moves the air to the back. It's a fantastic uh, cooling system. I really needed to find something for my amplifier. Um, if you look over here real quick, I've got two AC Infinity fans on top of my receiver. But with my receiver uh, sending, um, I'm using the pre to my receiver, to my amplifier. It doesn't get very hot on my receiver um, because of the space and because of the, um, the fact that I'm not using the amps in the receiver itself. So these two fans, I don't know if you can see the second one, but I've got two back there front to back. Um, they're more than sufficient. However, I needed to find something a little more uh, heavy duty for my amplifier. This is the Emotiva XPA7. I'm using all seven channels, <clears throat> four for my front towers, I'm biamping, then one for my center and two for my rears. Um, it's a fantastic system. It's only about an inch and a quarter high. So it's really good for tight spaces like you see here. And the rear exhaust for me is was needed because I have my receiver, or excuse me, my amplifier uh, sitting behind glass. <clears throat> so um, I highly recommend this, but I just wanted to show you how to set it up real quick. Um, so here you have your setting. That's what you're gonna set the temperature to to kick on the fans. Then you set your alarm, and then there's the thermostat, uh, denoted as probe. So what you want to do is, um, first of all, you want to set your setting. You do this by using these up arrow buttons. I have mine set to 80. Uh, then you want to set your designated fan speed. This goes up to six. I have it set on three. And uh, when the unit kicks on, um, either in auto or smart mode, um, this is the setting that it'll be turned on to. And it kicks on um, through a thermostat control. So once the probe hits my setting, the fans will automatically kick on, which is really nice because I don't need to have it triggered or plugged into a receiver in order to turn it on. It can be plugged in independently from those units and still be automatically controlled based on my uh, setting preferences. So once you set your fan speed, your desired maximum fan speed, then you wanna go over and set your alarm setting. I have mine, as you can see, set to 110, but once you have it on alarm, then you just push the up and down buttons to establish your alarm setting. Um, other than that, auto automatic, automatically kicks on once your uh, once the thermostat hits your setting, uh, it'll kick on to your desired speed. So in this case, three. However, if you use the smart setting, um, that the, the, the speed of the fans will kick on based on how high you are above your desired setting. So uh, the hotter it gets, the more fan speed will kick on. The lower it gets, the lower the setting will, will be. The fan will do that, or the, the unit will do that automatically. Um, I prefer to leave it on auto as opposed to smart, but smart is certainly another way you can go. If you hit your alarm um, temperature, then it'll automatically kick on full throttle. So it'll go all the way up to six, and you'll hear a sound, and um, It'll maintain at that level of six until your temperature drops below your alarm setting. <clears throat> so, uh, very easy to do. Establish your setting, establish your fan speed, and establish your alarm. That's it. Um, and this will automatically stay on. So, I've listened to music for an hour or two, or I've watched a movie and I've now shut my receiver off and uh, shut the system down and I'm ready to go to bed. This unit will stay on 
until it brings the temperature down uh, to below your setting. So that's what's nice about this. So if, if it gets really hot for some reason, um, I shut everything down. If it needs to, it'll stay on for an hour until it brings that, that uh, temperature down, which is great because it's drawing all of that heat out of your amplifier and exhausting it um, either through the front, top, or, or rear. Um, and it'll do that automatically until um, the temperature drops, in which case it'll shut off. So that's a fantastic feature, that thermostat control. Um, once you have your settings, like I said, I put mine in auto. Once you have that done, um, then what you can do is you can hit this little button right here and it shuts the display off. And so um, it's just one less light that you have to contend with in a dark room when you're watching a movie. Uh, so I prefer it in that setting. That, that's not setting, that's not shutting the unit down. That's just shutting the display down. So everything is working the same, um, even though the display is shut off. But if you ever want to check on it, you just hit that button again and it'll turn on and, and give you your diagnostics right there. So it's a fantastic unit. I love it. I highly recommend it. It produces a lot of, of airflow. Um, it keeps my amplifier cool and it'll protect your electronics and expand their useful life, which um, certainly if you put money into electronics, regardless of what you spend, you want to maximize um, that unit um, for whatever time period you, you would like to have it for. And uh, this is one way to do it. Um, this is probably the best way to do it. So as you can see, I don't have a ton of room here and it fits perfectly. And, uh, and I highly recommend it and I love it. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.